everyone. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Erin Gifford and I have been a graphic designer for almost 16 years now and I create Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop tutorials on my blog and I have a new one uh, to share with you today. We are going to be looking at the 3D effect tool in Illustrator which uh, to be honest, I just started playing around with it a week or two ago, but I can see that uh, it has some um, great potential and that how it would be so useful um, for some of you who are more on the illustration side of Illustrator versus the layout and design. So uh, let's let me show you a demonstration. Uh, we're going to start with just a plain old rectangle. And you can make this rectangle whatever color you want. I feel like blue today, so let's start with blue. So we are going to go up to our top menu under click on Effect and go to 3D. And then um, all of these, all three of these choices bring up the same option window, so it doesn't matter which one you click on, just click on one and our options window comes up. And I'm going to hit preview down in the corner so we can so you can see what these different things do. And you can see when I hit preview, it it just put the standard default settings on there. But you can see it went from a flat rectangle to a 3D rectangle, which is awesome. And then these controls over here um, are are what you're gonna adjust depending on how exactly you want your rectangle to look. So you can adjust different axis axes to give it um, a different look. Ooh, I like that. So this one is flipping it left to right. Um, and then you can also change the perspective, which is cool. It's adding a little bit of a stroke. There you go. Okay, so really you could play around with this for days, but these are gonna, um, these controls are going to adjust your what what your object looks like and there's other options down here extrude depth um, it gives it how deep and it's judged or it's measured by points you can change the caps so that it's all one color or shaded um, and then there's some shading options down here too wireframe no shading at all, diffuse shading, or the default, which is plastic shading. And obviously there are even more options down here, a little bit more advanced, which I am not comfortable showing you, and I haven't dove into those yet, but you know what? I always say, just dig around, dig around, learn. Um, that's how I've learned a lot of this stuff. So, because when I was learning, there wasn't YouTube, but um, anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you have some fun with the 3D effect tool and I can't wait to see what you create. Um, I want to make sure that you look below if you haven't already A, subscribed to my channel so you get the updates and B, there's a link to sign up for um, weekly tutorials delivered to your inbox. So go ahead and do that and there's a link for the Illustrator resource guide. So check that stuff out below, stay in touch with me, um, and we'll, we'll get you through this creative journey and on to the next step. Until next week, have a good one and keep being creative.